Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I come to you today with a slightly different video than the norm. Today is not about Star Trek or Eagle Moss or Metal Earth. Today is a slightly different kind of unboxing. It has to do with GameStop. Now, GameStop, I cannot say that I'm a very big fan of GameStop. Part of that, a big part of that reason is because I'm into the classic games, the older games. The newest thing I have is an Xbox, the original Xbox, a PlayStation 2, and a Wii. I don't have anything newer than that. I have a mild desire to get some newer games, but I'm really more into the older stuff, the original Nintendo, the Super 64, Dreamcast, Genesis, things like that. Atari. So I don't spend much time or money with GameStop because they don't sell any of the stuff that I'm highly interested in until recently. GameStop has apparently decided to get into the retro games market and in some areas if not the entire US I haven't kept up with it but apparently they're taking in older games for the Nintendo, for the Nintendo 64, possibly Super Nintendo, um, Dreamcast I think is in there and I think PlayStation 1 and they're taking in these games and they're selling them online. I believe you can get some through the store, but you have to wait for them to be shipped to the store. But you can get more online. This bothers me a little bit because I'm afraid they're going to drive the prices up. I'm afraid of what they might do to some of the games they get. But supposedly they're supposed to be getting and caring for these games and cleaning them up and selling them at right now a decent price. I went and poked around and looked and the things that they have aren't overpriced yet. Some of them are pretty well priced depending on what you get. Well, I happen to have a GameStop gift card. I wanted to grab one of these games, see for myself. It's a game that I've been wanting. It is a little bit more expensive because of what it is, but I had the GameStop card and a little extra money and between the two I was able to pick up something that I'm hoping will be well worth it. And the box, the box has just arrived. It is a Nintendo 64 game. And I've yet to open it. Thought I would do that on camera. I, want, I don't know what kind of shape it's in. I'm hoping that it'll be in really good shape. And then I won't get some piece of junk. But I, you know, I wanted to see what was going to happen. They're going to make this tricky. So it got here faster than I thought it would. The price that I paid for is about what you would find it on eBay. Or if you have local stores about what they'd sell it for. If I can get into the box. And just open it up. And what do we have? Nice fluffy pillows and the game that I have been wanting, Zelda. And a little, I'm sure, order sheet. That's not what I'm interested in. Order sheets are all the same. So they sent it to me in a nice little plastic bag in a decent sized box with some cushy protection, so that's good. It appears to be in good shape. Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Pre-owned. So that's biffy. Let us open it up. And take it out. And it looks to be in nice shape. There's a little something rattling around in it though. That's a little concerning. It kind of looks as if maybe somebody painted this. Like maybe the color was faded. Or perhaps it wasn't originally gold. And I don't know. You can see what looks to be run marks here. And a little bit down here. A little bit of a wrinkle there. 
I cannot help but to wonder if they took this and very carefully painted it. Now I'm not sure if these came in colors other than gold. I kind of want to say you could get them in colors other than gold. Get them in the typical grain, but I'm not certain. I'll have to look into that. But it looks as if maybe this one was either not originally gold. Perhaps this is a case from a different game. And they've painted it, or the original game was very badly scuffed, so they've painted it gold. If this is a different case, they may have printed up new stickers. It's very interesting. I would like to know anybody out there that has an N64 of the um, Majora's Mask, does yours look like it was recently hand painted or spray painted? Is this the way they came? Or is this something GameStop did? Hmm. One of the main things, one of the big things for me, is does it play? So I haven't quite got my game room, haven't quite got my game room set up yet. But I've taken the time to set up my TV and the N64 because I want to see and make sure that this works. Shall we? Now, for the truth. far so good. Well, that was very unexpected. Got a couple of files on here. 17 masks. No masks. Alright. I'll get rid of file two. I'm excited. I finally have the physical copy of this game, not just a digital download on the Wii. Hello, kiddo. I know, but I wanted a physical copy. I want to collect them all, you know. Gotta have them all. Well, I count having one on a virtual what console as a physical copy. Why is it doing this? This is an interesting problem. Is it? Game kept resetting, which worried me. So I took a moment to grab the alcohol and the Q-tips. I did a little cleaning. 
and it's really probably very hard to tell and it was just a little bit dirty this was the one I cleaned it with there wasn't much on it but after a good cleaning I was able to play quite a ways into the game without rebooting so who knows um, maybe they didn't clean it maybe they didn't clean it good enough maybe it corroded sitting around waiting to be purchased or shipped who knows these games these older cartridge games can be quite temperamental and sometimes need a lot of cleaning so it was very frustrating at first for it to keep rebooting but I got to stay on almost well I got to stay on long enough to get into town and start looking around I didn't quite get to a save point because I couldn't remember what to do but at any rate oh and I also took a moment when I went to clean it to poke around online and look apparently these cartridges do come looking as if they've been painted with little marks and such on it so that's not something that GameStop did GameStop has kind of gotten my attention once again at least a little bit I wanted to jump on this spot before the prices skyrocket or before they decide no I don't want to do this anymore so we'll see how it goes there's lots of talk out there about GameStop doing this and lots of different opinions I can't complain I got a game that I've been wanting for quite a while and didn't want to shell out the 50 bucks for because I just didn't have it to spare because I'm sure everybody can relate there's not enough money to do everything I have lots of different things that I'm interested in lots of different hobbies and I just don't have money for it all so to be able to get this and pay half of it with a free gift card lovely any questions comments please feel free to leave them down below I'm going to take some time to maybe play some more of a jars mask or finish setting up my game area so I can play other games but thank you for watching and uh, keep on keeping up